Hi friends, I am Erin. I'm our seminary intern at St. Luke's um, and today I have the joy of checking in with you all. Um, this week we are going, the topic of our check-ins this week is going to be what are you reading? Um, and so I thought I would start by sharing with you all what I have been reading over these last couple of weeks. Um, when I first interviewed at St. Luke's, I remember saying, one of my hobbies is reading, but I don't get to do it very often. And I think I was hoping that would change um, in seminary, and it has not. But a joy of sort of our change in plans this summer has been that I have had some time to read. I am still at my parents' house in North Carolina, um, and I have had some good time to read here. Um, one book that I have already read twice this year and is on our youth reading list. Um, if you, you may or may not know, we have a youth reading list out. It's books that um, have been recommended to us and we have read and are now recommending to our youth and youth families, but they are wonderful books um, and they are up on our website under our youth tab. And so check those out for anybody. Um, they're wonderful. And one of those books is New Kid by Jerry Craft. Um, this is a graphic novel. So it looks like a comic book on the inside and it is the story um, of a middle schooler who starts the year off um, at a new school that looks very different from his old school. Um, it is a book that challenges the way we understand our own context um, and does so through the nuanced lens of a middle schooler, which I very much appreciate. Um, and it's relatable to I think most all of us um, to see the ways that this school is different um, from his last school and the challenges he faces, um, the differences in the culture of this new school, um, the differences in his friends at his new school versus his friends at his old school, um, the need to keep his own identity um, while also realizing that his identity is different from uh, what seems to fit in this new school. Um, it's a challenging story that is perfect for our moment right now um, and fits very well into the 21 day challenge that we're currently engaging in. Um, if you're looking for a way to engage with those conversations with your families, um, your old, older elementary kids, your middle schoolers, your high schoolers, this book is a great way to start those conversations around your dinner table. Um, highly recommend you all reading it together. So this is a good one, New Kid. That's one book that I am reading and would recommend to you. Another book that I have recently revisited um, and this past week have found some wisdom in when thinking about what I would share with you all uh, in this check-in on what I'm reading um, is Inspired by Rachel Held Evans. Um, the uh, subtitle to this book is Slaying Giants, Walking on Water, and Loving the Bible Again. Um, this book follows Rachel Held Evans' um, journey through the Bible and reading it in a new lens um, at a specific point in her life. Um, and she shares her wisdom with us um, on what she is learning from the Bible in a new way. Uh, I wanted to share with you a passage that she wrote um, about, this is after, after her rereading of the Gospels. She says this, Jesus invites us into a story that is bigger than ourselves, bigger than our culture, bigger than our imaginations. And yet we get to tell that story with the scandalous particularity of our particular moment and place in time. We are storytelling creatures because we are fashioned in the image of a storytelling God. May we never neglect the gift of that. May we never lose our love for telling the tale. This is written in response to the Gospels um, and her particular experience with understanding the Bible um, as this beautiful story that we are invited into time and time again. Um, but I think that it's some good wisdom to hold with us this week and going forward um, as we consider 
what we are reading uh, in our life together at St. Luke's. Um, and so I invite you to remember the gift of storytelling um, and to interpret that in whatever way feels right and well with you today. Share with us in the comments what you are reading um, because I would love to see those and I know um, the rest of our St. Luke's family would love to see those too. Um, as always, it is a joy to get to check in with you all. I miss you um, and I cannot wait to see you both virtually um, and in other ways upcoming. It's good to see y'all. Bye.